They'll be calling you a radical. Wow. Wow. It's amazing. Almost 1,700 days. Almost 1,700 days later. And NHK, who is owned by TEPCO, Frog Boiling 101, Mission Accomplished, has done it. They have absolutely done it. The frogs are nicely boiled into a cancer slumber. I'm going to talk about activism. I'm going to talk about the great activists, not the ones you think they are the activists, the war profiteers. No, the accomplished, the ones who have went from here to here. I've had time to reflect on my trip to Europe at last while. I mean, it's been so intense since I got back. As you know, I want people to understand as the grassrooters activists out there, this is the time right now that we will be under the heaviest attack. This will be the time we're under the bombardment and the weekends. Bye bye. See, it doesn't matter. We stand strong. We stand strong. We stand strong on an island. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to talk about this. You know, they tell the truth. They want to tell you the same. I told you that on what within hours. Amazing is the frogs don't want the truth. They can't handle it. This contemporized and I'm telling you, this soup that we live in in the United States is not this way the rest of the world. And I want to talk about the greatest anti-nuclear activists that have ever lived. They're still alive. The greatest, in my mind, well, not in my mind, I think it's unarguable. I got to sit at her house for hours. The honorable, the dignified, the elegant, the strong, the amazing, the elder, the accomplished, Frieda Meiserblau. If you don't know who she is, I want to talk about her. I want to talk about, as I, I've been able to, what a year this has been, but I've been able to actually have coffee with probably the greatest anti-nuclearists in the world just this year. The whole group of them. As Diablo Canyon we have on the ropes. And who's the greatest activist in California? Bar none. Oh, they're called Mothers for Peace. You know, Jane, Linda. You, you, I mean, I'm going to talk about this. A couple of these amazing women. I mean, it was so refreshing as all roads lead to Vienna. Yeah, this guy's a real guy, by the way. Wow, that guy is incredible. My friend Pravad. If you want to see something that's going on right now, that's who I stayed with in Vienna. It's called Nuclear Lies. The great activists in India have got to meet via him. Wow, they're killing him there, by the way. I believe there's 84 of them now that have been murdered. This is a full blown out war. And we walk this way. I want to talk about that amazing woman, Frida. I'm going to talk about her right now. I'm going to talk about we walk this way. We stand up honor, dignity. I mean, it was so refreshing. I mean, it's one of the highlights of my entire life to be able to sit with her. She's 88 years old. Wow. You know, she gave me so much encouragement. She, she had a long talk with me. You know, and she really had a long talk with me. And as a young woman, I mean, we're raised. She reminded me of my elegant, sophisticated, strong, passionate, dynamic, grandmother who didn't pass away till well in her 90s you know she used to call me and say Kevin come up here I want to talk to you you go to her house they're elegant beautiful incredible I mean that's these women you know we have them out there they're being developed there's a new breed of activism and isn't that the goal you go from young to old so she's young you know she lives in the same town as Hitler and if you don't understand the dynamic in Austria you know, watch this, as I was so lucky to get to interview, he doesn't do interviews, he doesn't do interviews with anybody, Roadside Picnic, that's one of the great young activists of the world, he's at Chernobyl right now as we speak, Pravat, one of the great young activists of the world from India, I mean he gave up his UN position, his celebrity freakinism and thing to fight the real fight, oh he gets it, you know, these guys get it, you know, all roads lead to Vienna, oh boy, how about that rainbow? It just shows up. And he does that. Beautiful. I mean, wow. You've been in Fukushima. You're on top. I've seen bootleg freaking photos of what's really going on under, underneath. And they take the mob in, the homeless, under in the backside, and they murder them. There's thousands, many, many thousands, many thousands of the homeless. They sign a waiver. They're running it. They're murdered. They go in the backside, 13 buses, underneath. How do they get underneath? <laughs> it was already there. So... Frida, as a young, by the way, I don't think a lot of people notice, and I just, you know, because I've been doing some work, 
She was born on 311, 1927. She stood up. I mean, you know how young she was? You know how young she was to stand up against Hitler as a young, I mean, she's a girl, a young girl. She stood up against him. Do you know what it was to stand up in Austria against Hitler? And his, you know, Hitler was a puppet. Come on, he was a puppet. You know, all roads lead to Vienna. You know, and so, he gave, look at that speech right there. Right there where I interviewed Roadside Picnic. I mean, it's so iconic. She stood up. She was railroaded out of the country. You know, but she was raised by, look, that's it. We have these honorable, dignified, charming, graceful, strong, passionate, amazing people that raised us. You know, they raised us. We were lucky enough. You know, we have a few, you, you don't, you, whether it be your grandparents, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your, you know, a, a, a person out there that's on the platform. You learn. They start up, it, look, it's all about, it has nothing to do with popular opinion. It has to do with Cassandra's son. Cassandra, it has to do with, with the truth. The reality, they know it. She was thrown out of the country. I mean, you know how young she was? She had to walk. Lots of it. Almost killed. Starving to death. Thrown out of the country. I mean, she was right. She was right. She knew who his handlers were. She knew what the whole dynamic was. She said that she used to walk from house to house. Knock on doors. Sit down and have them. And, I mean, the strength. I mean, 88 intensity. She'll burn a hole through you. You sit there, you know, having coffee, having those great pastries in Vienna. Oh my God. Oh, what a. If none of you, you've traveled to Europe, you haven't been to Vienna. Oh my God. Wow, 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 the food. So, you stand up. You stand up for what's right. That's a tough gig. And they will come at you and they will try to kill you. They will try to kill you. You know, when you think about, well, I got a rats and a trolls. One guy rats me and trolls me. He has about 30 YouTube sites and he's sitting and go through every site. <laughs> Proves my the culture of hate. You know, anybody that freaking fights for a life. We live in the United States, the culture of hate. It's very different over there. Very different in Austria. We battle. She would say... These farmers, hey, would you continue to farm if you had no answer for your waste? Well, here in the United States, they would. They don't care. Here in the United States, because it's a drunk old, drunken theme park. It's a popism, baby boomer, Jamestown, contemporary, ultra neo competitive, freaking gonzo, children who never grew up. But isn't the goal to go from young to old, to be passionate, to be ideal, idealistic, to stand on right, to, to fight for everything that's right, to accomplish and get old? And get old and become wise and wisdom and pass that wisdom and down. I mean, that's called an elder. You know, whether it be the modern day literature, it was always this is now. I mean, is this is literature. You know, it's always been said it changes around the ages. I've always said bullshit. It's at the core. This is literature. Can you imagine Edward Abbey with a YouTube camera? Can you imagine Walt Stegner with a YouTube camera? Can you imagine freaking Devoto with a YouTube camera? Can you imagine? Harriet Beecher Stowe with a YouTube camera. Wow. But you go from young to old. I mean, how and be accomplished with honor, with dignity, with strength. Beautiful. Ha! Wow. Amazing. You know how highly respected she is over there? Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, you run into anybody. I mean, I was just buying this hat from this young woman at the store. The real thing. Amazing. We started to talk. I mean, she's just, you know, oh, yeah, my grandma and her friends. You know, we get taught about her in elementary and junior high. She shut down the reactor that was ready to go online. I mean, it was two weeks, all built, completely done, ready for the fuel. They're doing the same thing in India. Those women are something else. I gotta watch the, some of these incredible women. I can't even understand the language, but oh, I can feel them burn a hole through me. I mean, just intense. I mean, awesome. You know, I got to put my arms around and kiss freaking Linda and Jane and the, those amazing, amazing, amazing women. If you do not think 
that activism will keep you beautiful, keep you young, keep you strong, will give you life, then you don't know these women. You don't know activists. You didn't, I mean, Stegner, <laughs> you know how elegant and freaking strong he was and that tough childhood that he had and whatever. He, I mean, they live to be old and their freaking wisdom flows. It is life. You know, we have the beautiful activists down there and that's being born, you know, in Australia, Kylie. We have Lori in San Diego. You know, we have a lot of them around. We have no platform. They get a platform over there. They're looked up at. I mean, I mean, way looked up. But when I was protesting, I was detained going inside the UN. I was on the train going from it. I was with the refugees. I was in the Budapest freaking train station with the madness, standing in that mob. I was there. It was intense. It was incredibly intense. You should have seen these guys. I mean, whoa, whoa. I got chased out of Geneva by freaking security. Fought all over town. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you. This battle is intense, but this battle is life. She's the greatest accomplished, I think, anti-nuclear activist in history. We're going to get Diablo Canyon. They're on the ropes. We've got them on the ropes. And who got them on the ropes? Who's been fighting this freaking, you know, 15,000 round fight? Relentlessly getting their heads beat in. A bunch of women. Mothers for peace. We got them on the ropes. We're going to knock them the fuck out. You know, free to me, Kevin, you have that intensity, you have that strength, you have that path. Your path, she knows my story. She says, your story is amazing. Your strength is amazing. She says, I'm nominating you for the alternative Nobel Prize. She gets it. You've got everything that you have to have. Go. They're going to come at you with freaking everything they got. They're going to come at you in waves. This is the time, right now, because they successfully covered up Fukushima, especially here in the United States. They boiled the frogs. So now they're going to spin us into La La Ville. They're going to go to with the mutations, the three eyeballs, the giant wolf fish. They're going to play this game. This is how they go. And they will have the very freaking weak hands will go right at you. They will panty paint us. They will freaking diaper paint us. They will go out to us. It's not in vogue anymore. It was in vogue for a while, so jump in. Now... I was all in when it was out of vogue. I will stay all in, and that's the way this path. She ended up being, I mean, she's one of the most famous people in the history of that country. So looked up. I got to sit in her apartment for hours. And it's not even just that. The photograph's one of the gems of my life. One of the gems of my life. It's not just, it's who took it. You know, I found this great jacket. In Austria, they hang up their nice stuff. They have closets on the streets where they hang up their nice stuff to be. They recycle everything. They sponsor the orange juice industry. You go into a store with your your glass, your bottle, whatever, and fresh juice. There's the oranges coming out. Mm, so cheap. They. I mean, if you want to talk stimulus package, we we loot our country. Everybody says, "Oh, tax is higher in Denmark." Shit. Go to California. Go buy a beer at a sporting event. Go buy something here. Wow. For the angels, they watch over at me. I mean, it's simple. Whatever those powers there be. I want to say this. For we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We fear no evil. That's what it has to be. And, you know, we're so out of vogue right now. We're so uncontemporized to be anti-nuclear. Tell the tale of the great Pacific genocide, the mass murder, and these evil monsters. It was no different in the 1930s in Austria. She did it. She did it. She, there's no doubt. And I, and I hope that Linda and Jane and those women of someday get the respect that they're due, which they don't. I'll tell you this. I'm at Diablo Canyon, my Blue Hearts on Valentine's Day, before I even knew that Diablo Canyon, that region, was called the Mama's Heart by the Shumash. I didn't know that because the Shumash disappeared on us. They've come back. Mothers for Peace brought them back. You know, as I went on my walk with the monk, mm -hmm. you know, there's a peep to me. We walked a lot, you know. He and I and a few of the women from Mother's for Peace, they're very old. We get to the gates of Diablo Canyon, the mother, mama's heart. You know, he hugged me, had tears in his eyes, had tears in my eyes. I got to meet Noam Chomsky this year. You know, I got a second chance. I should have died. Frida had a heart transplant 25 years ago. 
She was raised by that amazing father. She was born on 311. Wow. Wow. It's like our places are carved out in stone. She's lucky enough to be able to fight on and do that. Why? Why does she make it all the way to be the elder? You know that great painting that come out of, I believe it's out of Norway, or excuse me, out of the Netherlands, shows those faces. It's in the Metropolitan. I was at the Metropolitan and one of the rats from MIT that's running the cleanup actually touches that incredible, incredible paint, painting of my place right here, of the beautiful Rockies. It's one of the greatest paintings in fucking human history. He reaches up and touches one of the natives. I see him. I get him. He's one of the guys clean up. I mean, what's the odds? It's impossible. I mean, in a tense, in the Metropolitan, freaking going at it, in front of freaking Landers. Wow. Wow. I mean, all this year. You know, set with Gnome. You know, I know who the real hands are. I know who the strong hands are. We don't need no weak hands. Provide in Austria, he's... Uh, you watch Nuclear Eyes. I go to Bath. This is the difference in that hundred-year-old incredible cinema. I'm there. Not only here, they spit on me as I walk up the freaking one. They troll me, they rap me, they throw things at me, they hate me. I get over there, they, okay, we have Kevin Blanche here. Would you please come up on the stage and say a few words? He did that. Incredible documentary with his own money, with no money. One activist stood up. One, she gave me a ride. The only time I've ever been in a car in Europe. Her and her mate gave me a car, or gave me a ride. Go back to Vienna, from Bath. We had a great talk. She says, "Here, you know, she's not wealthy. Here's twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand. He did it. <laughs> when they say you can't do it for under two hundred fifty thousand, he did it for less than twenty. Amazing." They call me on the stage, say a few words, standing ovation, had a gift package for me in that beautiful cinema. And if any of you have never been to those Austrian villages or even like I got to go to Helsinger, I've got a library card from the number one library in the, at the castle in Helsinger, Denmark. That's the Hamlet castle, Cursed Spite. What is it, Kohlenberg? I mean, wow, I got a second chance. I've been thinking a lot about it as I did my thing down there because I got to go into the hospital first time in six months and, at LDS. And there's little Kylie. Excuse me, Caitlin. She was my PA. I had to change my bedpans. So sick. I walk in there. There she's sitting there. She's the little PA in there. Her mom, who I grew up with. Now think about this. You're the PA in that intense bone marrow transplant. Her mom gets AML leukemia. Lands in that unit. She didn't back out. She kept working. Her mother passed. There she is. She looks up there and there's light night water and I'm just over there with her and she says, is that you, Kevin? She says, oh. You know, she, tears in her eyes, tears in my eyes. They should have died. She knows it. They know it. I got a second chance. You know, it's life. It's honor. It's dignity. It's grace. It's strength. We stand on an island. She's the greatest, most accomplished anti-nuclear activist in the world. You know, we need you know, to flip this freaking culture. They get it in Austria. I mean, to be it. You go over there as an activist in the streets like I am, you're so highly respected. People walk up to you, hug you. People drove from all over the country to come see me. But you have to stand on an island. You have to do the do work. It's the time right now they're going to come at us with every fucking thing now, and it's out of vogue, and everybody's going to fucking spin away. And they're going to softball, and they're going to panty paint, and they're going to hairspray, and they're going to think they're the new fucking Helen Caldecott, Kevin Camps, all these Busbys, all these fucking worthless fucking, they're not activists. Of course, they'll tell you they're not activists. They're pro war profiteers. They make lots of money saying bullshit. They don't accomplish fucking anything, and they've never accomplished anything. You know, we're here to accomplish. We got San Onofre shut down. I packed that fucking house because that center line. You, anybody that was at that hearing, you know, snuck into fucking San Onofre, exposed the fake fucking union workers, did that while I was in critical condition. You know, we packed that fucking house. You know, I, my army was fucking giant that day in there. We caught them off guard. They kicked me up before I could speak, but they spoke for me. My army spoke fucking for me. All of them. I saw it right then. I knew it. The light fucking flew over me, and I told everybody right then. 
they will never reopen Santa Onofre. Now, even the hardcore best activists in California, Ace, Gene, all those guys, they're saying, Kevin, I'm bullshit. And I said, bullshit, they're fucking done. I can tell you right now because I can feel it. Diablo County is fucking done. And they're going to fucking pay. And we're going to move that fucking waste. We're not going to sit and have another end. We're going to get it off those fucking earthquake zones. And we're going to save fucking California. We're going to save fucking humanity. We're going to fucking do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to fight on. Because we've been taught by our elders, the real ones. Frida, the greatest anti-nuclear activist that ever lived. Roadside picnic, you're going to become one great freaking change of the world. Pravod, no, you're changing the world. You know, Kylie down there, you're changing the world. We're going to do it right here. You know, at the Million Mass, I gave a speech and I says, look, there's a bunch of great activists being born. This is a wild child. Let it grow. It's organic and it's wild. You know, let this wild child freaking do what you do when you're young. With passion, idealistic freaking passion like they didn't stand up. You know, there'll be plenty of time for the wisdom to come. And you pass it to the freaking baby wolves. So, we fight on. Thank you to all the real activists. The real in the street. The ones that fucking fight. Get their knees dirty. Fucking bloody fucking hands in their face. Fucking do the fucking work. There's so few. You know, and I know who they are. And boy, do I respect him. You know, my father was one of those guys. He was pure. He was amazing. I was raised by fucking the greatest activist this country ever seen. My dad, he was incredible. Oh, did he fucking stand up. My grandmother, oh, 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 oh my grandparents. Oh, 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 you know, they knew Stegner personally. Stegner was awesome. You know, these people were fucking awesome. You know, Ed Abbey, fucking these people that meant their fucking shit. They fucking, their rhetoric wasn't just rhetoric. They live their fucking rhetoric. I live my fucking rhetoric. I'm in the fucking street. I fight every fucking day. I don't fucking quit. I'm relentless. And thank you to the, everyone that come before me that taught me this path. And that V is not for a fucking peace. Stay in tuned.